everyone, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to get your firewall registered and get it connected out to the internet um, so that you can get the basic setup completed. Um, first thing we're going to do is connect to the LAN port of the firewall. Um, the firewall should give out an IP address through the DHCP scope. Um, if it doesn't, then you may need, you may need to create a static IP. Um, but you just want to make sure that you go into the default IP of 192.168.168.168. Um, you'll get this screen when you first log in. Um, we're just going to click here to configure the Sonic Wall manually. Uh, you want to log in using the admin password, which is username admin, and then the password, it's just the default um, password or lowercase. When you first log into the Sonic Wall, you'll get hit with the status screen. Um, here you'll be given the basic information in terms of the model number, uh, serial number, and authentication code. This is stuff that we're going to need for the registration. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to configure the WAN interface. So I already have the WAN IPs set up here um, to the side, so I'm just going to put these in. Uh, HTTPS management uh, ping enabled. Um, just for the purposes of testing for now, we can always turn that on afterwards just so it's a little bit more secure. And then uh, user login for HTTPS, so if you have any other user accounts other than the admin, you're going to need to enable this to get into the firewall. So once we have our WAN interface configured, um, we're just going to go in and test that we can get out to the internet. Yep, all looks good, so we can now proceed to the registration. Um, so what we're going to need for the registration is just a serial number on, and then the authentication code. Um, if you log into your MySonicWall account, that's at MySonicWall.com, um, you will get the option here to do a quick registration, so you can put in the um, serial number, um, and you'll complete the steps. You click Next, and then you'll put in the um, authentication code um, until you get to the last screen and you complete the registration within my Sonic Wall. Um, once the registration is complete, you'll get the given an authentication code um, and then the registration code here. So the registration code you're going to want to copy into uh, the, my, the Sonic Wall um, just here. And click update. So this says that the Sonic Wall has been registered, but we just need to update re the registration. Uh, we're going to log in here with our My Sonic Wall account. Uh, and you'll get a set, sent a two-step verification code uh, to your email address, so you just want to make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Um, and then once you get the code, you're going to type it in here and then click submit. So now we have the registration code, we can put that in here. Uh, click submit. We'll say thank you for registering the product. Registration has been completed successfully. Uh, you click continue. Um, and then you'll probably be prompted to restart the firewall. Um, but the purpose of getting it registered is so you can sync all of your licensing um, and then apply firmware updates, which will be discussed in a further video. Um, so I'm going to now restart the firewall. Um, and then we'll proceed with the configuration. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Um, please ensure to subscribe and then just look out for more videos. Thanks.